Tao overflows. Energy levels. I had spoken in one of the videos during deep sleep you are connected to the cosmic womb and during that period of few minutes you are connected to the cosmic womb and when you get up you are refreshed someone said that when I get up in the morning, I do not feel fresh. However, as the time goes on, I feel fresh. We have to understand what are the different layers of energy and how they are affected. There are basically three layers of energy. Just as when you look at the fluid, it has three layers. The frozen, the fluid and vapors. This, in case of energy, there are three layers, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Physical energy, which is slightly different between physical and emotional, then the fluid, the frozen and the fluid. At the first energy is frozen, it has to melt to become fluid-like and then vapors. For all these things, the heat is necessary. In case of the body, at the physical level, your energy is fluid. And emotional level, which is deeper, energy can become frozen at times. Then the spiritual layer. Physical energy is governed by the food that we eat, our lifestyle, and in the present terminology, on radiations. We have so many equipments, iPhone, iPad, laptops, television, and many other things in our bedroom, and in our house as well. When we sleep at times, we have the television in the room, bedroom, we have the laptop, we have the smartphone. All these emit radiation that disturbs the sleep pattern at the physical level. So energy is affected by this. Secondly, the physical energy is affected with the passage of time with the passage of time as the age because the when you are young your body metabolism is very fast as the age advances the body metabolism slows down for that we need to work on in order to remove the radiation if you can do somehow remove the offset the radiation, then the medicines, the food that we eat, it also has radiation. So you can do certain things. Um, the, I have gotten something there where there is a glass plate programmed. When you put the food or any medicine or anything, its negative effects are eliminated then you can do the other things as far as the electronic equipments are concerned. The, the, these emit radiations to offset that radiation, you can use the amethyst stone. I have in my office where iPhone, iPad, MacBook and other electronic equipments are there. So on the desk, I have an amethyst lamp. You can get an amethyst stone in different shapes. So try to avoid keeping these items in your bedroom, number one. This will offset 
that uh, the negative effect to some extent. Food, the ingredients that we eat. In the beginning, when you are young, your metabolism is faster. It can digest the food faster, but as the age advances, the weight is generated, is gathered around the waist area. Then for that, we have to be choosy what we are eating and not only that, the time factor. The, the digestion of the food is very much connected with the sunlight. So you would not see any birds or anything eating after the sunlight. But we eat after the sunlight. My dinner is finished by 5 o'clock maximum. In certain cases, exceptional. That too is exceptional. It does not happen that it goes beyond. My health and work is important. So if someone invites me, I refuse. You can send me the food. I will eat it when I can, when it is my food, time to eat food, not according to your convenience. I listen to the body and eat the food accordingly. Then Patanjali gave uh, the, in Patanjali Yoga Sutra, it gave eight limbs of yoga. These are very important. The first is yam, that is known as restraints. The second is niyam, observations. Third is the asan, the postures. Fourth is pranayam, breath control. Fifth is pratyaha, withdrawal of senses. Sixth is dharana. Dharana is concentration. Then dhyan, meditation. And the last eighth is samadhi, the pure contemplation. We do not engage in these things yam what is our discipline in our life where life is very much indisciplined there is no restraint whenever you want to eat you eat not that you have forgotten in that the the language of the body body gives the responses when to eat and when not to eat how much to eat the many times it happens, the, when I go somewhere, if when we invited, let me see all the items that are there on the menu, on your menu uh, available. So out of that, I will choose which is suitable to my body. The, in Bengali customs, they offer the best things at the last. So. You know, the, sometimes it happens, the desserts are offered afterwards. So after that, someone said, no, that dessert is tasting very good. Maybe tasting good, but my body does not know which is taste-wise good or bad. It goes by its own language. So you, if you want, you can give it to me. I'll carry it, and when it is my time, I will eat it. Not that when you want me to eat. This is here comes restraint. Sometimes certain things are tasting better, so we overeat. And that puts a restraint on the body and creates the problem. The observations, the, your, the, when some things happen, many times the, we are interacting with so many people, circumstances and situation. So how does this happen, the observations? These are very important. Every morning when I am getting up, there is two things. Freshness, the consciousness is fresh, but 
the body works in a different fashion but body is like the the relationship between software and hardware if the hardware is not strong enough then the software will not work efficiently so in the morning in order to keep the hardware in order the body in order i continue to do from 315 when i get up 3 or 315 i do my asan exercises pranayam stretch exercises and all these things before i come to the office and this recording is being done at quarter to five every morning when i do the recording after that certain meditation sessions in different countries take place before on the weekend saturday sunday and monday when i go on the live streaming so these are the not only the restraints but observations also how you plan then what happens the the sleep will be better if you eat food late and go to sleep there are certain yogic <coughs> asans if you are accustomed eating late you can do that particular posture i do not recall the name of that posture but i know the how the posture is like that helps in the digestion of the food so my father was accustomed eating food at 9 30 he won't eat before and disciplined 8 9 30. so i asked him you are eating food late he said oh, and then you go to sleep he said after that i do my this asam and this helps in digestion of the food and thereafter i go and he was very disciplined until the last the in the last when he crossed 90s my younger brother they banned him from going early morning walk he used to go four o'clock from for the morning walk rain rainy the rainy season winter summer every time he will go but coming to the end the last years he banned him from going early morning walk so we can design our own plan for the discipline for our life in order to feel but it is there is no doubt about it when during the sleep for certain moments you disappear you it is known as deep sleep when you disappear and you do not know what has happened to you but the this the awareness of the awakened one has analyzed or understood those moments then you are connected to the cosmic womb or it is said god and then you feel fresh so if you have to be very observed you have to maintain the observation when you are feeling not feeling fresh or good as you said is it because of consciousness or because of the body because of the body if it is then you have to monitor your eating habits and exercise and so and if that is there then you have to look at your sleep pattern it can also be disturbed then maybe many kinds of dreams are coming in but yet still there is a certain period of time when you fall asleep and go into the deep sleep in india it is said the thieves they come to steal they come only that hour because that hour is you are deepest and no matter what kind of a noise is there it will not disturb you so enough for now